sometimes when you're just kicking around the house and you uh, you don't want to put your entire nail bag set on and tote around all the tools and scuff walls or, or whatever um, you just want to just want to put one screw in or ten screws and do a little bit of wiring you, uh, maybe run some cord or hang a picture that sort of thing it's just a pain in the ass to put your nail bags on uh, no matter how much you love them like them whatever it's just a pain in the ass if only there were something else back in the day when you went to the local hardware store you know how like when you go to paint stores and they give you the stir sticks with like the the paint store like home depot or whatever printed on the stir stick back in the day when you go to the hardware store and you'd buy nails or building materials they would say you know ask you hey do you want an apron and they would give away these cloth aprons and usually like it was printed on here um mcclendon hardware or jolly's hardware or whoever it was that had the uh, that had the store and it was it was a service for customers and in truth it was free advertising this particular one um, was my grandfather tallies so he passed in 1982 and um, it was in his things and my dad used it and uh, here and there and then I ended up with it I didn't use it for like 10 years and then I thought about it and thought you know there's no sense in this not being used um, around the house just for like screws and like hanging pictures and wire nuts for some small electrical jobs I'll use this and uh, it was not clean when I rediscovered it uh, 10 years ago and it's not clean now so I'm actually gonna wash it and uh, just keep using it and it doesn't need to be fixed or anything it's not it's not some uh, bespoke piece of cloth handmade in Italy or anything it's just simple simple cotton that uh, probably you know probably was made in the late 70s but I'm gonna just gonna keep using it it needs some serious love so I'm actually gonna put it in a, uh, a vat of oxyclean um, overnight and just let her soak try to bring that white color back <laughs> looky what a little bit of soaking and washing will do It's almost white after 30-something years. <laughs> it turns out these are sort of collector's items for us nerdy tool folk. And uh, you can go on, on eBay and find lots of them. And even on Amazon, you can buy new just canvas aprons. So Filson even makes a super high dollar version. Um, but probably my favorite that I've seen out there is, is Tex Heritage, uh, a guy on Instagram that does canvas and leather his are just amazing i think his are are just as well made and and very very useful and if you're going to switch over to using a nail apron i think his might be the way to go